Hi there, thanks for tuning in to the Seminist Network. In today's video, we're gonna have a showdown between mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. Which major really is the best? But before we start, I'm gonna need you to smash that like button because both of these careers are awesome and it's gonna be a tough match. We're gonna talk about classes you have to take for each, the differences between them, the types of jobs you can get, the salaries, and so much more. So make sure you stick to the end so you don't miss out on any valuable information. All right, so first let's talk about classes. I know some of the classes on an engineering curriculum sound super complex, like fluid mechanics for mechanical engineers or electromagnetics for electrical engineers. But I'm here to tell you that complexity of a class should not be your deciding factor for what career path you decide to take. Always look at where you wanna end up and what your dream job is and think about these classes as a bridge you have to take to get to that dream job. While in school, most of your basic classes in mechanical engineering and electrical engineering will be the same, especially in the first few semesters. I would say that both require many math classes like calculus, differential equations, and they both require physics as well. Your major specific classes in both mechanical and electrical engineering will often tie in fundamentals that you learn from those math and physics classes. Both majors will actually require you to take an engineering orientation course and it'll expose you to the different kinds of engineering disciplines and this class can actually help you pick which major is best for you and it'll also show you what types of roles and jobs are out there for the different types of engineers. Now, when you're done taking the core classes, you'll start taking classes that are specific to your career. For mechanical engineers, this can mean taking classes like material science, thermodynamics, and heat transfer. And for electrical engineers, this means taking classes like signals and systems, logic design, and fields and waves. I do want to mention that mechanical engineering students will often have to take circuits and mechatronics. Some mechanical engineering students will actually enjoy these classes, and some are wondering, why am I even taking this if I'm not an electrical engineering student? Personally, that's how I felt about circuits because I just wasn't a fan. But let me tell you that when you're in the real world, you're gonna be thankful you took these classes because you will need a basic understanding of these topics even as a mechanical engineer. I would say this is because of how much integration there is nowadays between mechanical and electronic systems as we digitalize and automate everything around us. As a mechanical engineer, I actually found mechatronics to be really fun because it was a mix of coding, circuits, and mechanics, and when you actually did things right, you would see your work come to life. Okay, now it's time to answer a very important question about yourself to get us closer to figuring out which major is right for you. Are you more of a visual learner or someone that can easily grasp theoretical concepts that can't be seen? I ask this because mechanical engineering focuses on the application of power and force to make components or systems move at a certain velocity or speed, and electrical engineering focuses on the actual generation of that power or electricity. So what did all of that mean? Simply, it meant that mechanical engineering can a lot of times feel more tangible than electrical engineering. For example, there will be multiple mechanical engineering classes that will use free body diagrams, and this concept can help you understand how all the forces acting on a car can actually affect the velocity of that car. So things like a car moving faster or changing its direction because of the forces acting on it are some things that can actually be pictured. Now on the other hand, electrical engineering is less tangible in the sense that it's more theoretical and a lot of times you're learning about things that you actually cannot see with your own eyes. For example, there's a lot that takes place to get a signal from antenna A to antenna B, but you won't actually see the signal or its behavior as it transmits from one antenna to the other. So don't get me wrong, there's a lot of theory that you'll learn as a mechanical engineering student to help you understand those practical application problems but when it comes down to solving these problems, a lot of times it's easier to picture the scenario if it's a mechanical problem as compared to an electrical problem. Okay, now let's talk about job roles and how they differ between mechanical and electrical engineering. As a mechanical engineer, you'll typically be building, designing, analyzing, or manufacturing mechanical devices 
And this can be anything from components of a roller coaster to components of a rocket. And on the electrical engineering side, you'll be doing the same thing, but for electrical systems. And again, you can work in any industry like the ones I just mentioned for mechanical engineers from roller coasters to rockets. We need mechanical and electrical engineers to develop our iPhones, computers, cars, airplanes, and much more. The difference really comes down to what your role is in a certain project. As an electrical engineer, you can be working on the navigation, communication, or signals that will make a car or rocket function successfully. And on that same car or rocket project, you'll have the mechanical engineers working on systems that convert energy, such as hydraulic systems. Some roles that a mechanical engineer can take on are stress analysis engineer, structures design engineer, propulsion engineer, and much more. Some roles that electrical engineers can do are electrical controls engineers, power and distribution engineers, electrical optical engineers, and many more. Mechanical and electrical engineering degrees are two degrees that give you so much job potential because of the amount of industries out there that need this type of discipline to make their projects come to life. This is great news for you because if you get tired or bored after working in one field, it actually wouldn't be terribly hard for you to move to another one if you possess one of these two degrees. Okay, now let's talk about the best part, the salaries. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average salary for a mechanical engineer in 2020 was $90,160, and for electrical engineers, it was $100,830. Now these numbers obviously vary greatly depending on location and amount of experience you may have, but this gives you a good indication of how much each of them can actually pay. And it also lets you know that electrical engineers on average do make more than mechanical engineers. With both of these careers, salaries can go up significantly if you take on management roles or leadership roles. Okay, here are my last pieces of advice that are guaranteed to help you get closer to making a decision on which major to pick. Try and get an internship as early as you can in college to figure out if you can see yourself working in this field for 20 plus years. Internships are a great way to see what roles are out there and this applies for both mechanical and electrical engineers. You might go in as a mechanical engineering intern working on, let's say, airplane design and you find yourself often collaborating with the stress analysis team and then you decide, wait a second, I think I actually like this and now I wanna try this out next summer, which is why it's really important to start as early as you can so you can get in as many opportunities as you can before graduating. Remember, a career is something that you normally don't just work in for three to five years. It's actually something that people work in for half their lives or more. And if you ask me, that's a pretty long time. So make sure that you pick a major that you can picture yourself being happy in and excited to show up to work for for a great part of your life. Okay, so before you go, you have to let me know. Are you team mechanical or team electrical? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful and I want to wish you the best of luck on all your ventures. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Seminus Network for more career advice.